The Amazon Secret. Why history's greatest river remains unbridged. Picture this, a river so vast it discharges more water into the Atlantic than the next seven largest rivers combined. Yet in over 500 years since European contact, not a single bridge spans its main channel. The Amazon River holds a secret that has baffled engineers and confounded nations for centuries. When Spanish conquistador Francisco de Orellana first navigated the Amazon in 1541, he couldn't have imagined that this liquid highway would remain unconquered by human engineering well into the 21st century. The answer lies not just in the river's intimidating statistics, 4,000 miles long, up to 30 miles wide during flood season, but in a perfect storm of historical, geographical, and political factors that read like a conspiracy of nature itself. Hemorrhidae, here's where it gets fascinating. The Amazon isn't just wide, it's unpredictably violent. During the annual floods, water levels can rise 40 feet, turning the river into a moving inland sea that would swallow most bridges whole. Indigenous peoples learned this lesson millennia ago, developing sophisticated canoe networks instead of attempting permanent crossings. But the real plot twist? The Portuguese and Spanish colonial powers actually preferred it this way. An unbridged Amazon meant better control over trade routes and prevented rival nations from easily accessing the interior's gold and rubber wealth. Even today, the river serves as a natural border between regions, with governments hesitant to fund bridges that might upset delicate political balances. The Amazon's refusal to be bridged isn't just about engineering. It's about a river that has shaped empires, protected indigenous territories, and continues to guard South America's greatest secrets. In our age of technological triumph, the Amazon River remains humanity's humbling reminder that some forces of nature prefer to stay unconquered.